Hi, Francis. Welcome to your karmic, uh, sorry, past life karmic lessons. So let's take a look. What are the things that you still need to finish off from your past life and fulfill in your present life? Now, please take note that this is a general reading. It might not resonate to everyone, okay? Let's take a look, Pisces. imprisonment and slavery it's not that you're stuck it's like you're you keep on overthinking about things you are a slave of your fear okay you're also one of the uh, advanced people you love traveling however you made a very hmm. let's take a look about that let's take a look at that lo uh, love life Wisdom, spouse, leaving or travel. Oh, let me pull up more, okay? Okay, Pisces, you were actually imprisoned before, or you were a slave, okay? And you love nature. I feel like you were born as a free soul, and you love wandering around you're also one of you're very curious and it's like there are some things that you know already okay like for example using computers cars driving uh, metals metal thing you know in the industry or something like that that other people have to study or other people have to you know like uh, uh take a course just to know that but with you it comes naturally it's in name okay and it's already right within you you also love traveling and i also feel like you know being in the metal industry is more applicable to you like for example uh cars music entertainment and or music producing music writing or music playing okay now you're also very religious however your love life is affecting your present life right now because you chose okay you chose let's say you become practical in the past because you've gone through some dire kind of living and you don't want to go through that strife again because you were a slave before and you don't want to be a slave anymore so you chose to have a luxurious life or you chose to have a better life rather than being with somebody who is less okay and you were born as a male and female so either you're bisexual you're um you're yeah you're gay or you're more masculine you're more feminine or you tend to have that strong personality that other people perceive you as a very intimidating person okay you you have that very strong aura and you also have a very frail health you always have health problems you always have some issues with your especially asthma um being so weak and have a very um weak immune system as well you get you get sickness easily or ailments and there are also some when you were a child you also have some problems walking or you you've had some issues with some leg braces okay now you were a writer in the past you you have a very good um uh, artistic abilities and you have that very creative mind however you always suffer from an unrequited love it is because of where you came from and it, it is because of what you have gone through in the past you were always very practically minded that right now in this present life you always choose career over love that you know you will come at your prime age let's say for example 45 something like that 40s 40s 45 50 and that's the only time that you will start thinking that I really want to settle down. I'm ready for the one. I'm ready for the big relationship. I'm ready for the big commitment. But, you know, it's like there's all this scarcity of quality men or quality women out there. And you do have some talent in music and arts. You're very you're a good singer, you're an entertainer, or you you know, you play music or something like that, or it could be all of them, all of the above you're very very intelligent and you're very smart however when you married somebody that is let's say for example you, you know like 
somebody who's just an average let's say for example they're just a woodworker or they're just a carpenter or they're you know they don't really have that kind of posh or a sophisticated kind of a job or a profession you left because you chose to have a good life and you are also it seems like you be, either you believe in metaphysics or you do have you're very gifted especially you have a very sharp intuition but you were actually not permitted or you cannot really use this in the open okay so you don't want to go through that same kind of path because you're also an orphan okay that when you're growing up nobody actually adopted you that's why you were a slave not really i, I don't feel like it's more of a, a prisoner but you were a slave okay and you love being out there you love being free you love expressing yourself you know in a natural way and you love traveling i feel like you died from your poor health as well all right so let's take a look what is that lesson that you need to learn in this present life yourself release your ex playfulness healing family issues i feel like most of pisces have some father issues <sighs> or some parental issues no it's like you hated how you grew up in the past you hated being a slave you hated the way you were born it's like you were in the wrong lifetime or you're in the wrong life or you're in the wrong you know something like that it's like you're you're not supposed to have that kind of life for you okay so you don't really want to be a slave you want to be somebody else so you need to free yourself up and i feel like you, you always have that problem of uh, clinging onto your exes okay Every time that there is somebody that you fall in love with, they move away from you or they reject you or there's always an unrequited love because they find you intimidating, you're too strong, you're too independent, and they feel like you don't really need anybody, okay? You need to loosen up a bit because you're too uptight. You're always like on a schedule. It's like always on the dot, okay? So you need to loosen up a bit. There's nothing wrong if sometimes if you need to slack off, you know, throw, a, throw away your shoes and walk in the sand and enjoy the water. You also need to have some family healing issues. Sorry, you need to have some family healing because I feel like you do have some problems either with your father or with your mother. Okay, now pay attention to the red flags. The one that you're going to be with is someone that will also hurt you or someone who will keep on ignoring you or who will keep on abandoning you or going back and forth with you. It is because of what you have done with the one that you married in the past. Because the person that you married is like, they only have a blue collar job and you have more. You actually became successful in your own way, but you were very lonely and you died because of a poor health. I feel like it's more tuberculosis. And, uh, don't overanalyze things, okay, especially when you see some red flags. The thing here is you keep on giving people a chance, especially when you're already at your prime stage, that you feel like if they keep on deceiving you, you would just keep on giving them chances to become, you know, a better person until nothing is, you know, nothing it remains from you, okay, or nothing is already there for you okay like you're already too consumed you're too drained and everything else and the, this new love that's going to be coming your way you need to make the effort give your relationship a chance and be a little bit more passionate because sometimes you're too cold you're too distant and you always hold back your feelings you're too afraid you always bottle up your feelings you always hide whatever is inside your heart and your mind that you, even if you're already in love with somebody you always have that full control because you're so afraid of getting hurt all right so let's take a look. What are the things that you still need to learn and know? By pulling out your general reading cards. Mm. 
Mmm. All right. That needs to cut off and dry. That right now there is actually an older, not really older, but someone's just around your age and a younger fire sign. And it's, you know, life is not just all about work. You need to loosen up a bit, stop and smell the flowers, enjoy your surroundings. Now, mm -mm -mm -mm. you need to be a little bit more open minded. Don't be so uptight. It's like you have that strict idealism and you have the year two perfectionist that other people have a hard time fitting into that description of yours. Okay. And you also, you're very, um, you have a very healthy social life. You do know how to plan. You have a lot of friends. You're a very happy and, uh, you know, jolly person. However, at the end of the day, you're looking for that comfort, for that warmth, for that love, for that hug and kiss and touch and, mm, you know. Now, there is actually, you do have one is a like an air sign just around your age or older than you, and a younger fire sign that's, you know, that's full of bravado and very, you know, very, um, what do you call this, uh, ambitious, hardworking, well traveled, and he's also a well known person, or he is known into his uh, circle of friends. Now, you're very hardworking, you're very financially stable right now. However, this is what's going to be blocking your happiness, okay? You need to balance your time. You need to know, you need to learn how to loosen up a bit. And you need to enjoy your life. It's not just all about the money. I mean, you already have a lot of money right now. So you need to be a little bit more, you know, out there. And try to lower your standards, okay? And... I feel like the only thing that's been like, you know, that you have to learn, don't be so vindictive. And it's like when your ego is bruised or when your ego has been attacked, it's so hard for you to let go of somebody. You're going to do anything and everything to prove something to the world, to yourself, to the person, you know, that, you know, ah, why did they do that? Why did they exchange me with this? Why did they, you know, made a decision? Why am I replaced? You know, something like that. It's so hard for you to let go of some ego related issues. Okay. And you're very sensitive. You get this courage and you live with so much angst. Okay. So what is that thing that you need to learn? Don't be so perfectionist. Nobody is perfect. And sometimes I know that money is very important in this time or in this life because you cannot just survive by, you know, by loving each other. But I feel like you need to bring out the best in somebody, even if you're already a successful person. But don't carry the baggage or don't carry any grudges of somebody and don't be their hero because you will never ever be. Okay, be who you really are. All right, so anyway, that's it for you for this time, Pisces. And if you want to have your own past life recollection or reading, go and visit me at my website, sofiaangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls or up for pre-recorded video readings. All right, you just need to register to my website first. All right, blessings to you.